Filling large gaps with cork or silicon can be a challenging task, but there's a simple solution to make it more efficient and a little bit easier. Closed cell foam backer rod. I've got a little bit of a selection box here. You can get it in different sizes. You can go down to six mil, I think. That one's 10, this one's 15 mil. Even though I consider myself quite an advanced level DIYer, I didn't know this stuff existed until about three months ago. That means I've gone through far too many tubes of this stuff than I needed to. I've set myself up a little test rig just to demonstrate it, using it with and without. I've got large gaps here, that's 12 mil and that one's 9 mil. Gaps between 1 and 3 mil you'd get away without using it at all. Anything from 4 mil upwards this is really handy and here's a table for the sizing that you would need for each gap. Obviously there's loads of applications for this, whether you need to cork or seal around your frames, windows, etc. Whether it's control, uh, expansion joints in concrete or walls. I'll go for this gap first without any backer rod. I've probably cut that a little bit fat, but you probably get the idea. You can see how much it's squeezed in these boards I've screwed two 9mm plier together, so it's gone back about 10, 11 mil, and I haven't even tooled that off yet. This, what I'm using, it's an acrylic based cork. It's quite thick. Uh, the silicon sealant is not necessarily as thick as this, so this demonstration is just to give you the principle of it, if you understand. Now imagine this is like a control joint in your concrete. The gap on this is 12 mil, and I would say the cork's gone down maybe like 15 mil. Now that would be even worse if it was silicon sealant. That would have a go with a foam. Now this is nine mil, so I've gone for a 13 mil. And what you want to do is just squeeze it in. I've got a plastic pack here. That's going to help me. You still want to get it in there a little bit. You don't want it exactly flush with the front. And for the 12 mil space, we're going to use a 15 mil backer rod. I'd say by using backing rods, you're probably saving 50%, if not more, of your actual silicon. Now these, they're pretty bloody expensive these days. Over the past couple of years, inflation has just gone crazy. 